everybody, I'm Melissa from cloudmom.com. Feeding your baby solids is one of those things you can get really freaked out about and very intimidated by. I know that I really worried about this before I was able to do it. And I felt like I wouldn't really know how to feed my baby, what to feed my baby, how much to feed my baby. So in this video, I just wanna walk you guys through a couple things to keep in mind when you first introduce solids to your baby. So this is my baby, Bracey. Bracey was a preemie, so he is a little smaller than your average six-month-old baby. It is at six months that most doctors advise that you begin feeding your baby solid foods. Now, back when my other kids, who are now older, began solids, doctors recommended introducing one food at a time and keeping that food in your baby's diet for a few days to rule out allergies. When it came to my baby, Bracey, and check with yours, especially if your family has a history of food allergies, my doctor told me that from the get-go, I could give Bracey a wide variety of foods. Now, the first thing to keep in mind when it comes to salads is that you're not giving a huge quantity. This is really about practice. I also recommend giving the milk first so that when you're feeding your baby solids, they won't be quite as hungry and quite as fussy. So with all that said, here's Bracey. And I don't think you need a high chair at this point. I think it can be helpful to have your baby sitting like this in your lap. And let me show you guys how I'm holding him. I've got my hands here. He's sitting on my knee like this. And then I'm gonna take this hand and I'm gonna to try to control his hands because what he's gonna do when he starts to eat is he's gonna put his hand in his mouth with all the food and he's gonna then smudge it everywhere. Gracie, I find to be still a little bit, little bit small for a high chair, which is why I don't have a high chair. So here we go, and I'm just gonna show you guys how I give him a few mouthfuls. This is a puree. Woo! This is a puree that we've made. It has a wide variety of vegetables. It has a little chicken, and that is what my doctor recommended, and he really, really likes it. I take just a small amount onto my spoon like this. It's not a lot. And I offer it to the baby. And what I do is I let him sort of go for it. And I rub, I kind of rub the spoon a little bit along the roof of his mouth. And what will happen a lot is it's a bit of a two steps forward, one step back situation. Your baby will take some of the food. They'll then push some of the food out of their mouth. You'll have to scrape it up. So you wanna put a smaller amount than what you think you might need into your bowl because this food is gonna get mixed in with a lot of things coming out of his mouth. So once you've been giving it to your baby, you really can't store it again. Here he goes. There goes the hand in the mouth. And just like breastfeeding, this takes a lot of patience. All right, Bracey, let's fix our bib. Let's fix our bib. Let's get well settled again. Let's get a little bit of a handle on our hand and let's do a little few more bites so we can show everybody how great you're doing with your solids. There we go. And you see how he just sort of on his own gets his mouth around that spoon and you don't have to put a lot on the spoon. You just put a little bit and you'll find that your baby catches on to this really, really quickly. Um, a couple other words just quickly about schedule. My doctor recommended doing a breastfeeding session first thing in the morning. He recommended at this stage, three meals, one after each breastfeeding session. And Gracie seems to be catching on to that quite well. We're doing one vegetable and protein meal. We're doing one fruit meal and we're doing one meal of a gluten-free rice or corn cereal. Here we go. Here goes the hand. Okay, Gracie, we're gonna pull our bib down. I'm gonna show everybody one more time how you're gonna take a really good big bite and get ready to get messy, okay? This is not a, an event for which I would put on a silk glass. Okay, let's get this hand down. Babies love to put their hands in their mouth while they're eating solids. Ba, 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 ba. No, 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 no hand. Here we go, couple more bites. We're gonna show everybody how great you eat and we're gonna say bye-bye. So that's it for this little introduction to how to give solid foods to your baby. Please check back into cloudmom.com for more how-to videos. And thank you so much for watching.